Hi, this is The Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Today I want to answer the question, isn't it too late to make an app? Okay, so I'm on my way home from a client meeting. I had to uh, drive to a client site. Uh, it's about an hour and a half away from the office, so I'm on my way back now. And uh, I brought the camera with me. I thought, you know, what I'll do is I'll, I'll do like a nice video, you know, standing in a field, you know, out in the sunshine, and I'll, you know, I'll talk about, you know, whatever. And of course, it's, you know, it's pouring down rain. So I'm sitting in a services uh, in the car. You know, it's it's pouring rain, and uh, and I'm talking to a camera. So, uh, but what I wanted to do today was to address a question that's been asked over the last couple days by uh, 100 core dream uh, it says hi greetings from India hey how you doing uh, I've just heard I just started learning Android app dev is it really the right time to start building apps isn't it too late right and I gave like a kind of a flippant answer I guess uh, which you know uh, because I, I didn't take the question too seriously but when he asked the second time I think I probably should take it a bit more seriously is it too late to start building apps? And I obviously don't think so. I mean, we put out apps all the time. We're still creating apps now. Um, and and the, what I think about is I go back to 2002. Now, so, so I'm, a, you know, I'm quite a bit older than a lot of you guys I know. But uh, so back in 2002, I was a web developer. I, you know, I had been through the 2000s. And to give you, and, and back in 2002, I thought it was too late to start creating a website, right? Because the bubble had burst. So in, in, you know, 99, 2000, 2001, everybody was going crazy, right? Everybody was talking about websites. If you were a web developer, you could have got a job anywhere and you could demand like any salary. Right? You just, you know, just, if you were bold enough, right? So everyone was going crazy and companies would be like paying you know five thousand dollars for a domain name uh, and everyone was trying to you know the, the key to a good website was having the right domain name right and uh, and and investors were, were were paying all kinds of money and people just went crazy web being the the wave of the future and then the bubble burst then all you know interest you know flew out of it you know pe people started to realize that they weren't making the kind of money that they would and then websites became you know or the web in general became uh, you know not so big and then they tried to you know remarket it with web 2.0 and all this kind of stuff but the, the fact of the matter is the web never went away right you could you know you think about you know back in 2002 I thought it was too late to start creating a, creating websites you know it's too late to start like a big web project because nobody does that anymore what's the new big thing what you know what's the new big thing right but you know that was before Twitter before myspace before Facebook before most things you use now you know it's just a, that there was this hysteria going on about uh, about the web back in that time and and a lot of press about why the web was was no longer a you know why it was too late you know oh I should have cashed in when I could right but so my my answer to your question is that it depends on what you plan on doing being an app developer are you looking for like huge investors are you looking to be the next snapchat are you under the impression that when you put something on the app store you know people are just gonna find it and you're gonna you know and and it's gonna hit huge or are you somebody who wants to develop software that people can use uh, you know you when you look at the app store and you look at apps in general they are getting more difficult to market. I mean, that's one of the reasons why we, we talk about this stuff all the time. You know, I don't think people go onto the App Store anymore and just start, you know, looking for stuff to download. And, I mean, obviously the App Store is changing. I mean, there's been articles about this last year. You know, less people are, are actually downloading apps. You know, they're not... There's no hysteria like there was before where like, you know, people would just like for fun, for no reason, go on the app store and look at the top apps and start downloading things. Uh, so it's it's a lot more, you know, you have a need and you go look for it, All right? So, but it's, but people still use applications. You have to think about it. You have like a huge opportunity as an app developer. You can create software that people use and you have a way that people can pay for it that's, you know, I don't think we really had anything like that before. They don't have to, you know, it's not like a website where they have to, you know, register, you know, they don't have to reach into their wallet and, and take, you know, take out their credit card. You know, it's basically just a, a click of a button and, you know, put in their password, uh, you know, depending on the security settings. But it's easier for, easier for them to make very small purchases, uh, you know, from you. And, it's, and as an app developer, you have the opportunity to put something out and have it available to everybody in the world. Your problem is going to be getting people to find it. So, no, I don't think it's too late to to, uh, to develop apps I think it depends on what your motivations are if you think uh, you know if you're looking at snapchat and you think it's going to be huge then
then you know I think you just have to have more realistic expectations just like back in 2000 and you know compared to 2002 people had to have more realistic expectations you know some web developers got out of it altogether because nobody do, does web anymore and they moved on to, to whatever was next uh, but then other people just said you know I'm a web developer you know I produce a product and as an app developer you produce a product you produce something that should delight your users you produce something that um, that people should be able to use and you know and don't discount the fact that because people aren't downloading apps as much that it's any less valuable you just you just need to find the right market and the right people uh, and they'll, they'll download it anyway that's my opinion I'm sure a lot of you guys probably disagree with me actually no you probably don't disagree with me it's not you know that's why I didn't answer the question before it just seems like an easy question no I don't think it's too late but you know you could say well if I was gonna do it I should have done it two years ago right I don't know what you have to lose by creating an app you know don't get in debt don't go crazy don't expect you know don't spend your life savings produce something that you think people will use get some feedback adjust it and uh, and try to as hard as you can to get it in front of people anyway that's it for now I'm gonna go have junk food and uh, you know and a really nasty lunch that's no good for me uh, and then I'm gonna head back to the office and uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow